Hello my dear students, I hope you all are keeping good health and I hope that you all are doing well. So today I am going to deal with a very beautiful poem, The Quarrel, which is prescribed in your syllabus. So we all know the meaning of quarrel. Okay. Quarrel means bickerings, jhagda, ladai. Okay. So, this is a very short and beautiful poem, The Quarrel, which is prescribed in your syllabus. And this beautiful poem is written by the poet Eleanor Fargian. Now, Eleanor Fargian, she is an English author and poet who used to write on children, stories, poetry. Okay. So, he, she is mainly famous and known for her writings for children. So, this is one of her most beautiful poems for children only, The Quarrel. I quarreled with my brother. I don't know what about. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. The start of it was light. The end of it was strong. He said he was right. I knew he was wrong. We hated one another. The afternoon turned black. Then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back and said, Oh, come on. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. So he was in the right. Now this is a very beautiful poem. At first I just recited the poem for you so that it will be easier for you how to recite the poem now we can uh, from the very first line we can see that the poet is saying i quarrel with my brother so here i means i means the poet the poet eleanor Fargian. so the poet is saying that i quarrel with my brother so they were siblings siblings means your own brother and sister they are called sibling. So, the poet quarreled with her brother and uh, I don't know what about. Means sometimes when we fight with our sibling brothers or sister, we don't even know the reason why we are fighting. It may be a very small issue. Okay, nothing at all but we just uh, take on a great fight. So, here the poet is saying, I quarrel with my brother. I don't know what about. That means the reason of the quarrel is still unknown. We don't know why we just fought out. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. So, it started with a very little or very uh, small issue. And then one thing led to another. And then the fight becomes bigger and greater. So, one thing led to another and somehow we fell out. Fell out means we started fighting. So, fell out means started fighting. And the start of it was slight. Slight means very, um, very minimum. The start of it was slight, very light issue. The, the fighting, start, the quarrel started in a very light manner. But the end of it was strong. That means though the fight or quarrel, it started with a very small issue it was in a light manner but the end of it was strong it ended in a strong manner he said he was right i knew i was he was wrong so most of the time when we have a quarrel or fight with our siblings we know that the opposite part means my brother or sister he or she is wrong and i am right and he or she thinks that i am wrong we think that we are right and our brothers and sisters, they are on the wrong hand. They are wrong. They have done wrong. So, this was the same case for the poet also. Her brother said he was right. But the poet is saying that I knew he was wrong. We hated one another. So, it was quite obvious after that great quarrel, they started hating each other. The afternoon turned black and due to that fight, Obviously, the afternoon, it turned black. Now, what is the meaning that the afternoon turned black? Can it really happen? Can ever the afternoon be black? No. Because 
the sun is there so how can it be black but sometimes due to our gloominess due to when we feel very gloomy when we feel very sad when we feel very angry then also we don't uh, find uh, everything very shiny or very cheerful okay we don't find the light so that's why as our mind as the mind or heart of the poet was dark and black out of sadness or anger then uh, that's why the afternoon also turned black because they started hitting each other and they were not talking to each other that's why the afternoon turned black that means though the sun was there the afternoon was having the light but it was in their mind it was in their heart that they were feeling gloomy the poet and her brother they were they both were feeling very sad and they both were feeling hatred for each other that's why their afternoon turned black then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back the thumped means pushed me on the back so suddenly the poet's brother thumped me or pushed the poet on her back and said oh come on we can't go on all night i was in the wrong so the brother of the poet he admits that okay i was wrong now come on don't Uh, pull it so long we can't take it so long we can't go on all night we can't continue can't go on means here we can't go on means here go on means continue we can't continue this fight all night we have to stop so okay i was wrong the poet's brother is saying that okay i was wrong so come on let's end here let's stop the fighting here okay so he, when the poet's brother said that i was in the wrong so he was in the the poet thought that he was in the right so that means both of them they felt guilt they felt guilty and they just patched up and they ended their quarrel there only so it's a very beautiful poem we all face in our houses and homes with our siblings or with our cousins brothers and sisters those who don't have siblings we all sometimes we face with our cousin brothers and sisters sometimes with our friends also so it's quite common and quite obvious to fell out in such um quarrels and these quarrels when we grow up these quarrels becomes the memories which we cherish forever throughout our life these little quarrels give us such beautiful memories in our life when we grow older when we grow up so this is the poem and okay you can see the rhyming words in the poem if you look carefully brother another then about out then slight and right these are rhyming words brother another about out slight right strong sorry strong and wrong can you see okay so in this way you can find so many rhyming words also in this poem okay so i hope that you have understood the poem it's a very beautiful poem and i hope you have enjoyed if you have any doubt you can clear it uh, from me okay till then goodbye thank you